Hello and welcome to the Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Colleen Callender and we begin the show with the campus walkout. SU students walked out of class and took to the quad today to stand in opposition to hate and bigotry. The so-called walkout is part of a nationwide movement. Those protesting maintain they are not supporting one party or another, but rather fighting for equal justice. Ryan Lawrence was sentenced to 25 years to life today in connection to the murder of his 21-month-old daughter, Maddox. Lawrence said in court today that the family's struggling finances and his daughter's poor health prompted him to kill her. Maddox was found dead in February of this year. Reports say disputes over Trump's transition to the White House is creating a division within his circle, pitting mainstream conservatives against Trump loyalists. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich says it's nothing we haven't seen before, though. The beginning of any transition like this has turmoil because it's just the nature of the process. And uh, I think that uh, Trump is very decisive. He's a very good CEO. 27 people are dead, including four children, following what is being considered a Syrian regime directed bombing in eastern Aleppo. The bombs hit hospitals and schools predominantly in the Al Shar neighborhood. And a member of the Syrian Civil Defense, a group of volunteer and rescue workers in Syria, says he expects the death toll to rise in the coming days. Looking at the quad cam, 52 and cloudy today, and tonight temperatures will dip to a low of 43 with a chance of rain. Lindsay Wolfson will have more on the full weather forecast at 6. That's all the time we have for our Citrus TV News Brief. I'm Colleen Callender. Have a great night, Syracuse.